I'm gonna keep this shit short, straight to the point. I really fuck with this Fab and Jada. And I, I it was, we waited fucking 25 years for this shit to happen. But, you know what? This shit was actually worth the wait. And I think it, it's actually better, it's better that we, we had to wait this long because we got we got this content. And I think the shit would have been different five years ago. It would have just been some songs they threw together. But this shit was like soulful. This shit, it, melt, it, it was like a street nigga 444. It felt something. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't, I don't want, I'm tired of seeing niggas trying to pit them against each other. Like, oh, Fab killed this and Fab killed Jade. Like, nah, nah, nah. That shit went, we not even, I ain't even go into it looking like that. I just appreciated the collab for what it was. You know what I'm saying? So, I really fuck with that. Um, I'm definitely happy with every song. That Tiana, Tiana Taylor, I forget what it's called. Talk About It, I think. I was fucking with that a lot. I really fuck with that. Soul Food was, niggas was hyping it. It was, you know, it was all right, but I don't know. That was just me personally. Swiss killed both of them shits he was on. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Swiss is just be on some shit. I don't, he just works well with Fab and Jada. I don't, it's just that, that, that New York. It gets real New York. I like that. And um, that Ice Pick, the shit with, um, with uh, Styles P. I like how they, you know, when they when they start going bar for bar, I like what, what they do. And they do sprinkle a little bit of fab on it. Uh, yeah, every, I'm, I'm overall pleased with it. Very much so. The only thing, and I hate to say it's like even something negative about it, but I just have to speak on it. And I'm not going to make too much of a big deal about this future shit. <laughs> we could have done without future. Like, I'm like... Nah, I heard like we had this stand up. I'm like, come on, my nigga. Like, you don't have to do this. Like, <laughs> we were doing fine. Why did we include future in this? I wish I wasn't on that fucking meeting. I'd be like, keep his ass in Bankhead or wherever the fuck he's from. Cause we don't need that shit on a New York mixtape. But that's nor here nor there. Uh, that's just my opinion. Well, my eighty-eight cents. But overall, I really liked it, and, and I'm glad it came out. I'm glad the content was what it was, and I'm glad to hear Fab speak out on social issues. Because I said on a couple podcast episode, like, is Fab too old to be talking about wild thoughts? Like, I really was like, hmm, you forty, bro. And so to hear him come around and, and shut me up with this shit, I'm like, cool. I'm like, you know what? You're on the right track, brother. Keep doing what you're doing. Jada Kids always does what he do, so I'm, I'm pleased with this mixtape. And I'm, uh, I'm glad they gave it to us. If you haven't, go check out on Friday on Elm Street. Listen to it twice. Because you can't listen to music one time. You gotta at least listen to it twice. Once at home in your headphones, in the gym, wherever you listen. And one time in the car where you're going, what you're going. You gotta do both. You gotta mix it up. You have to. Before you even process it, you gotta listen to the shit twice in two different settings, in two different moods, two different vibes. Then you really know. But that's it. I think I had some other shit to say about some some this goddamn rap music, but uh, I forgot. So that's it for now. I love you. Have a day you deserve.